Hi, uh, I'm Arif Hussain and for the first time in past four years, I'm unemployed. Uh, this is 27th February and it's been almost four weeks since I quit my job. I know it's not about mental healing, taking a break or burnout or all those stuff. I believe my story is probably a, a little unique. So sit back, relax and listen to my tale. So I'm based in Dhaka, which is the capital city of Bangladesh. Remember this because this is a critical information for the whole story. And I've been working as a software engineer for past one and a half year uh, at a local tech, uh, ed tech startup called Programming Hero, where I was used to making around 70,000 Taka, which is our local uh, currency, which roughly around, which is roughly around $9,000 a year, which depending on where you live, uh, it may or may not be a lot of money, but being from a country where the average salary is less than $3,000, I was happy with uh, what I was making. Until last year, I married to my beautiful wife, Kimberly, uh, who is from US and she used to make $90,000 a year. So you can see this payment uh, salary disparity. As soon as we started living together, traveling together and eating together, I realized my salary won't be enough to for us our living standards and especially uh we have plans to like move to us in near future so i had to find a different ways to uh make more money right so as 2024 came along and it was a new year and my salary reviews uh, was near i had to decide whether i should keep this job or not because if i do i might get a, like a small payment bump but Comparing to this, our lifestyle, it's, it's not significant, right? So I, keeping this job didn't make a lot of sense. So I decided to quit my job and think of ways uh, to make money where that can help us to travel around the world. And in future, when we move to US, at least I can start at least survive. So uh, after all the research, I have to come with two options, either get an international job, companies from US, Europe, which pays uh, enough money. But the problem is those companies doesn't typically hire from Bangladesh. And even if sometimes they do, they don't typically give you uh, that salary, the, the, like the US standard salary. Uh, they give you a salary that you can find in other local companies. So there's only a few handful number of companies that hire from anywhere from around the world. And you can probably find them from uh, some remote job boards. But still, there is like two problems with those. One, the time zone difference. Uh, US, European market being so far from Bangladesh, we typically have like eight, nine hour time difference. Another thing is like they have typically have a lot, very high amount of competitions. Uh, so I had to decide like, should I spend six plus months doing all these lead course and applying through all these companies with very little hope to success or should i pursue this other dream of mine which was to being an entrepreneur and make money through my business right so i pick i picked the second option uh for the first next one year i'll be working on few of my side projects and we'll try to grow my business so by the time we we get our visa uh, my visa sorted out uh, i'll have at least some money to survive in us so my goal is to reach to five thousand dollars a month uh, by the end of this year and this is the first video of the whole series every week i'll post an update uh, of what i have done and what we're, i'm going to do next week and how we are progressing uh, through the journey. So yeah, uh, for the first project, I'm working on this game uh, called Catrice. I will post more updates on that uh, on next week's video. And that's it for, I guess, this week. Yeah. See you on next one. Bye-bye.